What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm Thad Barnett. Today I'm in Detroit at Vanmark with Gary. Thanks for being here on the channel, Gary. So we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, hand brakes, hand folders yep. um, that you can take on the job site and incorporate into your workflow. Very low barrier of entry uh, here at Vanmark. So Gary, tell me a little bit about Vanmark and what you guys sell. Uh, we're, Vanmark, we've been around, it's actually gonna be our 60th anniversary in 2024. A uh, small family owned company and uh, our founder who started it, his son took over the company as the owner today. We've been making, we started out making siding breaks just for vinyl siding, uh, soffit, those type of things. And as the company grew and the metal roofing industry grew, we started making breaks that'll bend for metal roofing. Gotcha. And you know, so we now have the full gamut for lighter gauge metal to or right up to 24 gauge steel. Perfect, and yeah, in our world, uh, when it comes to standing seam metal roofing, a lot of what we deal with is that 24 gauge market. So that's kind of what we're gonna talk about today. You know, okay. how to choose the right handbrake for me. Let's say I'm a metal roofing contractor. I work with 24 gauge. You know, how do I know which one of your products that I should be looking for? And you know, why sure. would it benefit me? Sure. So what we would do if you're in the metal roofing business, we would automatically move you to our what we call our industrial series. And we have a couple models, the one behind us here. Uh, we started out with those right around 1990, and our original brakes all had a 14-inch throat. So that original brake had a 14-inch throat depth. The throat depth is from where the bend happens to the back of the casting. Gotcha. And as we progressed, we saw that the metal roofing industry needed bigger pieces of metal. They were bending things. So we developed a brake with a 20-inch throat that will bend bigger pieces of metal. Okay. So, you know, let's say I'm, I'm interested in something like this. You know, what's some use cases for me as a metal roofing contractor? Yeah, the, it, it, the fit on this brake, it's a very portable brake. Uh, the brake itself it comes with the stand in this particular model. And the beauty of this being portable is the brake will come off the stand easily with two thumb screws. And you can load the brake into the bed of the truck and then the stand either breaks down or you can put it in the truck as gotcha. well. So it's very portable. Where does it fit in, in your day to day? You're probably still gonna get the bulk of your trim pieces preformed from your supplier. They're gonna show up on the job site. Uh, over the years, talking to contractors, there's probably no job sites where you don't have two pieces short, something was mismeasured, somebody dropped something on it, scratched it up, you can't use it. So the beauty of this brake is you got it on the job site, you can pull it off the truck, you've got your flat stock or a roll of metal, you cut it up, you form it, you can make that piece custom. Where that works for a metal roofing company is the job site usually has multiple people working. If that holds up the job and one guy has to spend half a day to run back to the shop to make two pieces, everybody else is sitting there doing sure. nothing. So it's just, it saves, it pays for itself in what it saves. So yeah, what are we talking cost-wise? You know, we're about to go into 2024 right now, so. Yeah, this model, this is a 10 and a half foot, the most common. Uh, they're probably gonna be in the $5,500 range. It, it all varies on the distributor and Quite honestly, if you're buying a lot from that distributor, they may give you a little better deal. So it's, sure. you know, it okay. just depends on, we sell through authorized distributors. So it really depends on where they are and what they're doing. Yeah, good to know. And you know, I also kind of see a use case for this. Um, somebody who's looking for their first folder and maybe isn't ready to spring for a full CNC machine for their shop. I mean, they just yeah. kind of want to see how they can incorporate that into the workflow if they're doing a few metal roofs here or there. Yeah, we do see that a lot. As someone, maybe they're in another end of the business and they start to do that. Yep. Someone like that will probably use a fab shop to get a lot of things done. They may do a complete job with one of our breaks. Uh, you know, it's probably a little more, takes a little more time, but you can certainly do it. Yep. Um, but yeah, that would be the person who does a couple jobs a year. It's an excellent product for them just because of the fit. Okay. You know, of cost. Sure. So what is this break called? What's what? What's this brandier? is the uh, Metal Master 20, Metal Master Industrial 20. Okay. Like I said, this is the number one selling break for, to us, for people for metal roofing. Typically, uh, they'll bend up to 24 gauge and a lot of 29 and 26 gauge as well. Most people who buy this break automatically buy the trim cutter. Um, with a siding break, a lot of people will still use a razor knife because you can score it and break okay, it. Yep. You can't do that with steel. So this cutter, uh, we'll get into a point where we'll show a few videos, but this cutter will roll through 24 gauge steel. Nice. Um, maybe not as easy as that, but it's, it goes through it very efficiently. Sure. Gives you a nice clean cut. Uh, so you just position the metal. We also have what we call multi-gauges. The multi-gauges do two things. When you mark the metal, they will show you where the cut occurs which is an inch and a half from where the bend occurs. And then once you've cut the metal, they also show any of the radiuses for the bends. 
So when they're bending the metal, say they need a 45 degree, they can put one on each end of the metal, bend up, and they can see, nice. okay, I'm at 45. So what's uh, what's another option? This is one of the newer machines you mentioned. I know you said you had one with a 14-inch throat depth. Yes, yeah, it's basically the same. It's a cam-operated brake, very efficient operation. It's just simply you can only put 14 inches of metal in there. The one thing that we do see, you know, right now we sell probably 75% 20-inch 25% 14-inch. Gotcha. Why are they still buying a 14-inch when the bigger one's available? Usually it's people who will set up something in a truck or a trailer, and it's a fit issue. You know, they've got a lot of tools in there. This brake takes up a bigger footprint. If you're inside a trailer, you need a little less gotcha. space taken up. It just, it's a better fit. They bend to the exact same metal. The cutter works on both of them, works exactly the same. That becomes kind of a, just a what fits your needs kind of scenario. Awesome. All right, so what are the additional features of this machine? We mentioned that this is a 10 and a half foot, our most common. We also make this break six and a half, eight and a half, obviously 10 and a half, 12 and a half, and 14 and a half. So there's various sizes depending on what the contractor needs on the job site. Gotcha. The other unique feature of this is the stand. Uh, again, we talked about this being a, the uh, walkboard is your counterbalance, but what's really important are these wheels. When you're out on the job site and you need to move this brake, what you do is you just go to the end of the brake. The axle is built into a J-channel system, so you just kind of get it up there. And this allows you to move this brake with the wall. I'm gonna have a hard time spinning it, but you could spin this 180 degrees, move it wherever you need on the job site. One person can do it very easily. When you get the brake to where you want it on the job site, you simply walk to the other end, grab the carry handle, and those, it settles right back down into that J-channel. That's a huge feature on this brake and the portability of one man being able to move it around the job site. All right, the number one accessory, number one selling accessory that goes with all of our brakes, but specifically when you get into metal roofing, is our trim cutter. Trim cutter is simply a rotary wheel cutoff device. With ours, it, we've designed it to ride on the face of our brake on our AccuTrack system, which is on all of the, what we call the F-bar or the top lock bars on our brakes. Now, when you're not using it, the cutter conveniently just hangs on one of the carry handles here. I'm gonna leave it there for a second. So you have your piece of metal. This cutter, the trim cutter will cut one and one half inch from the edge of this stainless steel strip. Again, that's where the multi-gauge is. I've already pre-lined this up, but you line up the multi-gauges to, to the mark so you know where you're gonna cut. Give that brake a good lock. You just pull your trim cutter. It loads easily right on that AccuTrack system on the brake. It's gonna cut at the one and a half. With 24 gauge, you're gonna put a little pressure on this, but this will cut right through. And you just cut right off of the 24 gauge steel. It gives you a nice clean cut. It leaves the other piece locked right in your brake. So what are some other products that you know, we'd like to mention here that could be helpful for contractors? Yeah, with the metal roofing, the other, the brake is obviously the most common. They buy that with the cutter, usually the multi-gauges. The other one, we make a trim slitter Again, we've made those since uh, I think 1970s, actually maybe late 60s. What we've done is we've developed one that uh, has uh, the capacity to perforate up to a 24 gauge steel. So uh, what a lot of guys will do with that, they'll have it on the job site if they do need to cut a blank down because it does slit, okay. but most importantly, it perforates. And the perforator roller will perf up to 24 gauge painted steel. So they can, if they're short two pieces of soffit that needs perforation, they can perforate that soffit awesome. right there. If they need a custom color, they can make it themselves versus maybe it's not offered in the market. Sure. When any of our slitters ship, the knives and everything will be spaced so they don't touch each other, just so there's no damage in shipping. You move them with a T-wrench, when you push them together, and touch, that's when they're going to cut. So simply move the gib screw, loosen the gib screw, slide it over, that's now gonna cut. Same with the perforating roller. It's usually, it's pushed out of the way for shipping. Move it to where you need it. Lock the gib screws down and you're good to go. This is the, we call it the um, SCI 24 HD is the model number. It's a, we call it the slitting perforating combo. So it is a trim a slitter, which comes standard with two sets of knives, which will make two simultaneous cuts and a perforating roller. It comes with a heavy duty motor and it comes with a unistand with the adjustables for easy movement on the wheels. 
So this is, you purchase this as a package. Um, now it also, in the package, is a hand crank. So if you've ever got one of these, you're somewhere on a job site and there is no power, you can simply disconnect and put the hand crank on so you can still actually use it. Kind of a fail safe if uh, you run into that scenario. Pretty straightforward, it's an AB forward, reverse. Uh, runs approximately 60 feet a minute. So what Scott's gonna do, he's gonna load the metal. When you bring the metal up against the perf roller or the knives, as soon as it touches, they will more or less self-feed it through the slitting machine. So simply turn it on. And you're gonna see it's got a perforation. Turn it off. And it also, it'll slit, so it'll have either function. It gives you a very clean cut and the perforation uh, is all set for soffit or Z-bar. So uh, you said you sell through distributors. Yeah. Um, where can people learn more about Vanmark products? Uh, at our website. Uh, it's on the front of all the brakes, uh, www.van-mark.com. And in there, it, uh, there's a link to find an authorized distributor. And if they just send something on the link, we can figure out what they're looking for. And you'll find we, we sell worldwide, but uh, you know, certain markets, you may have someone who stocks more than others. You know, it's, they're probably dealing with these people anyway, because they're probably buying yep. the metal from them and things like that. Check out van, van-mark.com, subscribe here to the Metal Roofing channel, and check out the next videos we got coming up on how to use Vanmark handbrakes. We'll catch you next time. All right. Thank you.